Okay, I already <laughs> have my mask on because we're literally about to get out of the car. But I realized I didn't really start the vlog. This is a very exciting day. It is the weekend of vacation. If y'all don't know, Cindy Cummings, who's like my hero, she lives here in Charlotte as well. And she's doing a whole vacation weekend with a meet and greet and a workout and all that kind of stuff. And so I actually kind of arranged <laughs> this whole meetup. Everything starts tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Today is Friday. So the meet and greet is tomorrow. And then the workout is Sunday. But but a lot of people are flying in today on Friday, the day before the festivities start. So I kind of actually arranged for all of us that are in town to meet up and just kind of kick it for the night. So it's like three, coming up on 3.30. We just got here to OMB. We're gonna hang out, so I'm gonna vlog, get some of the other squaddies. I'm in the Sydney squad. I think most of the people coming well, probably everyone that's coming tonight is in the Sydney squad. I would assume most of the people coming <laughs> to vacation in general are probably in the squad. Probably some people that aren't. Ken's got some merch on. I had to get creative because the belly is literally a bowling ball. So <laughs> I put a crop top over this dress. And we are so, so, so excited to meet everybody. So let's go. Got the Royal Change water bottle. Got my Royal Change shirt on. A couple people are getting food right now. We got a little bit of a squad here. Okay, we got different fries this time, and these are loaded. There's like chili, queso. These honestly look so good. Also, Ken's a, there's a lot of husbands and boyfriends here, but he's the only one. Good conversation. Yeah, a lot of people are really excited. <laughs> actually home now it's like seven oh it's actually eight it was just so much fun like meeting everybody and chit chatting and we're obviously all equally obsessed with her and do the same workouts and I feel like a lot of us kind of live a similar lifestyle when it comes to that kind of stuff so it was just so fun chatting with everybody and hanging out and catching up and there was you know other husbands and people brought their friends and their kids and stuff so it was really cool ken was one of like the only dudes wearing like sydney squad merch or like royal change merch a lot of people noticed that a lot of people noticed the big old bump that's for sure but i didn't get a lot of footage on my camera i don't feel like so i think i might just show y'all what I got in my stories because I just was, I don't know, doing a little bit more on stories than taking my camera out. So I'll show that. And we just got home and Ken's <laughs> making sticky buns. Look at him with oh, his one. Yeah. No, that was good. We have our little name tags on. <laughs> I actually bought these name tags and brought them. I got a ton of name tags and everyone was using them and everyone was wearing them and everyone was really excited. So I'm glad I did that. Everyone also noticed like, oh, they're actually like cute ones. They're not just like super boring, like standard, like white ones. I got ones that have like kind of a cute little font and they're in black and white. And then a lot of people were putting what state they were from on theirs. And I was like, should I write here? <laughs> like CLT, like, I don't know if that would be confusing, <laughs> but let me show you all my stories. Hello guys, it is the next day. We are all royal changed out. Ken's got it on it. Well, you can't really see. <laughs> He's wearing the crew neck sweatshirt. And we're on our way to the meet and greet, which I'm so excited. We like both got tickets, so we will both be going. So the meet and greet is at the, you know, the studio, the headquarters. Also, my curls kind of like stayed in from yesterday, which is shocking. So I was going to do like braids or something, but we're embracing the curls today. And I'm so excited. We actually got some vacation like merch that we're going to be picking up. It's like a meet and greet and pictures with Sydney. And there's a little studio tour involved. Actually, I got, I don't know if I've shown this yet at all. I'm going to flip you all around. But I got a little onesie like custom made <laughs> for the occasion. I'll flip you all around and show you a little bit better. That um, I want to like and Sydney to like hold up or something for a picture. I think that will be cute. And then someone at the um, like kind of little hangout last night mentioned they got shirts made 
and they well they got like fabric markers so that probably would have been smarter i didn't even honestly think of this until they mentioned it but i grabbed a sharpie and i'm hoping maybe sydney can sign it and then obviously he will never wear <laughs> he will never wear this but I thought that would be a cute little idea. So we're all prepared. I don't know how like crazy it's gonna be because they don't have like time slots or anything. So theoretically like hundreds of people could be showing up. We're trying to get there before it even starts technically. And like if there's a line, get in it or whatever. But I don't know if it's, if there's gonna be a lot of people there. I don't know if there's gonna be a crazy line. It was also really nice hanging out with everyone yesterday. So I feel like it will also just kind of be like a hangout, you know, in the parking lot <laughs> sort of thing. Everyone was like kicking it together. So, we're so excited. I just like, hasn't like hit me yet. I'm like a meeting, like, I don't know, one of my favorite people, even though I haven't actually met her, but I've like dreamed of meeting her. I feel like it's, no seriously, like you always like wanna like meet, especially cause she lives in like the same city as us. You like assume or think, I don't know, not assume, but you would maybe think that you would like run into them, but we're gonna run into them today. Mm. And we're gonna like be in the studio and see where they mm. film. So it's gonna be cool. I'm so excited you can go cause the light's green. And here's the little onesie. I made this design myself and then I just like sent it to someone on Etsy and had them screen print it. So it's got the little logo, baby's first vacation. And then this is the logo from like this year's vacation. I think this will be so cute and fun to like take a picture with. Also, I got some fresh kicks on. Sydney is Nike, ride or die. How cute are these? I got the leopard in the back and the little leopard check mark. I wish I could show you better because we're in the car. All right, we out here. There's about, Ken counted, there's about like 60 people in front of us. So not too crazy. There's Ken's little OOTD, looking so cute. There's a lot of reunions going on. I think that's the videographer or he's on staff or something. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot happening right now. <laughs> I know, seriously. She needs to come down the line. Oh, she is. Oh my gosh. All right, babe, you gotta be ready. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> moved up a little bit. They opened up the doors like 15 minutes late, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, eventually. <laughs> but at least we're in the shade now, <laughs> so we feel a little bit better. All right, we're getting close. You can kind of see, I don't know, if the camera will show. They got a little backdrop. Ghost has a little tent in there. The line has gotten kind of long. But we moved up, I mean, pretty quick. It's only 10 minutes since they opened the doors, so we're making moves. <laughs> All right, babe. You ready? The moment. It's coming. We got to go. We're so close to the door. You ready? Cheers.
that up, yo. <laughs> like, what don't they have? This is like the perfect gym setup for you. They just have everything. Yeah. Don't yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
go. <laughs> back there that can he was waiting in line I think I showed that he was waiting in line while I was waiting in line to pick up the merch just because the line was moving pretty slow honestly which is to kind of to be expected because everyone was ch chatting with her so Ken waited in like the merch pickup line while I waited in the meet and greet line and it was much more efficient doing it that way because we were there for like we got there at like 9.45 so we were only there for two and a half hours actually exactly two and a half hours so it's not crazy it was really 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 fun and I'll show you Sydney signed the onesie so I'll have to show you all that obviously you've already seen the footage and everything from me meeting her and Ken got a bunch of pictures I need to go through because he took a thousand <laughs> but I'll show you all the onesie Aww, she wrote welcome baby boy and then she signed it so cute she when she was signing she's like oh, I'm not good at this <laughs> and I'm like that's okay I'm not gonna wash it or anything so it won't get ruined but aw, so sweet. All right, we actually just ran a couple errands, but I wanted to show you all the, I guess like the little haul <laughs> from today. So these were the like merch shirts. You probably noticed like Dustin, Sydney, most people were wearing these. These were the shirts that they made just for vacation. So it's got the Volt yellow little crown on the front. And then this is actually the back of the shirt. So I ordered this just for like pickup at the actual studio while we were there. I got the shirt. They had a tank and like a crop t-shirt, but I figured the shirt would just be kind of like the most universal and then it kind of came in a little bundle with the sweat towel which I have the summertime fine sweat towel which is like the same size and texture and I'm obsessed with it because it's way bigger than the previous sweat towels that they sold so I love the size of this one and they're super super soft and I love the black with the volt on it so cool and then it also came with this little like drawstring backpack again with the logo it's a pretty good size too and I like the color and I like the style of it and it was actually really handy today because we ended up like throwing all of our stuff in it so it came in really handy and then ghost was there y'all know sydney is a ghost athlete so ghost was there they had like a little tent as y'all saw and they were giving out blender bottles which these are really nice i don't know if they did like the bright yellow to like go with a theme or if it's kind of like what they happen to have to give out but i love it and i love the like orange on the lid so we just got one of those i mean obviously we could have both got one but i figured <laughs> we didn't need a ton of the same blender bottle in this house so we got one of those and then they had a bunch of packets of samples i've been wanting to try the oreo for forever so i'm really excited to try this and then they also had the vegan cereal milk same over here we just got two of each so this is what we came back with we also came back with a lot a lot of really 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 good photos did i show y'all the onesie? I think I showed it to you in the car, right? So I know I showed y'all this onesie. Was it yesterday that I showed this? Or earlier today? <laughs> I don't even remember at this point. But this is the onesie that we took a bunch of pictures with. And then Sydney signed it. And she wrote, welcome baby boy. <laughs> so sweet. And we got a lot of really, really good pictures. Ken got some good photos. I got pictures with Dustin and with Sydney. And then the three of us got a picture with Sydney. Dustin was right there. So I'm kind of wishing we had asked him to come in the photo with us either to do like all four of us or even just the one with me and Sydney. I think it would have been cool to have one with all of us. And I kind of wish I had also gotten one of like just maybe just Ken and Sydney or something just to have like a bunch of different pictures. But it was so cool and we were, I mean as y'all can probably tell from the footage, we have like a really cool group of people around us. So it was fun. Like the wait was kind of fun <laughs> because everyone was just like a good time to be around and hang out with. But I think it was a really good move going as early as we did because people are like messaging in the like fit Facebook group that we have saying that they were in line for like three hours before they even got in the building and then once you're in the building the line doesn't really move super quickly either because you're still waiting to get to see Sydney so I can imagine some of those people are probably waiting I don't even know like four plus hours to even get to see her and it's supposed to be over in 20 minutes but I imagine there's still a lot of people online and obviously like everyone that bought a ticket is 
you know, entitled to meet her, I guess. So I don't know. I'm gonna be curious if there's people in the group chat that are still there, like how they're handling the fact that this is supposed to be ending. I know she did take a break at one point, they said. Um, I'm sure she like had to go have lunch and stuff. So thankfully <laughs> she took a break because I was like, this is gonna be exhausting and she's gonna need to like definitely like chill for a second and eat something. So it was so, so, so amazing. Such a special time. We were there, like I said, for like two and a half hours. It was just so cool and so special. I'm so glad for all the pictures we got. So glad baby boy got to come. Um, everyone was really excited about the onesie. <laughs> like everyone in line with us was just so excited to see us take a picture with it. Oh, Ken's going after a fly. <laughs> oh my god. No, you didn't. Uh, well, it went on the ground and then it came back up. Where? Maybe you injured it. It like bounced on the ground and then it oh, babe, flew away. You're supposed to step in. No, it, I could not have stepped in. It was it was moving super fast. When the hunt is on. Also, Ken got new glasses. Check these out. Ooh. I'm gonna show the sides of them. Ooh. Look how nice they are. They're actually very like sturdy. Yeah. Sometimes you buy from those online things and it's like a little flimsy. You can be too, a little questionable how the quality yeah. is gonna be, but look how good they look on him. They're honestly kind of similar to glasses I would wear and I love the colors on them, like the red and the green stripe. Look at me. And wow. he can actually see now, <laughs> which yeah, doesn't usually it. happen. Um, those were actually sent to us, which was really, really sweet. So the brand is Koala Eye. So I will put that on the screen here and I will link it down below for you guys. They're really, really, really nice. We were like very pleasantly surprised when they got here. Like the metal on them is really, really nice. And they just feel like very high quality, very sturdy. And we were also, of course, a little bit nervous how <laughs> he was going to like the style. Because I feel like when you're ordering glasses online, sometimes you can't be like a thousand percent sure how you're going to like them. But they're the perfect style the perfect fit the perfect prescription his prescription changed quite a bit since his existing pair and now he can like actually see and he was just so excited to get those in the mail he's literally been tracking it all day long <laughs> because he was so excited to be able to like have his new prescription and a pair of glasses I mean when you get a new prescription I feel like it's just like it changes everything when you're able to see so much better so of course he was really excited to get those I actually have my contacts in today I didn't even mention that I don't know if any of y'all noticed but I pretty much one that I never wear my contacts but I wear them like maybe once or twice a month, like very, very infrequently. But I need today with wearing a hat and plus a mask, doing a mask and a hat and glasses, like having all that stuff on your face can just kind of be a lot. So we had a very good day overall. He's super excited about his new glasses. I'm so excited that I like got to meet my hero. That's like such a big moment. So many people don't ever get the chance to do that. And the fact that she lives in the same city as us and it was like not a big production to get to have that opportunity was so, so amazing. So we had a great time. I will put some of the pictures, maybe I'll put them on the screen here or I'll like link up my Instagram post because I have a lot of pictures. I actually fell asleep earlier. I took a nap, like an hour nap. I fell asleep editing the pictures because <laughs> I was so tired from like all the socialization last night and just like hanging out and being at the meet and greet. Like, I don't know, I just feel like being this pregnant, being very social, <laughs> like doing a lot of things, it can like really, really drain you. I mean, everything drains you, but a lot of the like sensory overload can just, it took a lot out of me. So took a nap and Ken's actually baking now. He's making his famous, they're not famous at all. He just likes them, his sticky buns. I think we're gonna order like some Uber Eats or something for dinner just because because the last thing I really want to do is get docked up and <laughs> make an entire meal right now. We actually just got like a huge Target drive up order. Like there's a bajillion bags right here. So I'm going to put this stuff away. I'll show you what we end up getting for dinner. And then we'll kind of wrap up the vacation vlog, I guess. I'm kind of sad because I'm not going to the workout tomorrow. The workout is at the, the Hornets Arena, the Spectrum Center in obviously like uptown charlotte i chose not to go to that because i mean i cannot do like an hour of high intensity working out at 34 plus weeks pregnant it's just not something that i think i could keep up with and obviously with covid and all that kind of stuff i'm also not super into the idea of like i think everyone has to keep their masks on which a is going to kind of suck working out with the mask but also i just didn't want to put myself in that kind of like close encounter situation so i kind of wish i could go and like spectate or something because i feel like it would be fun just to be able to like experience that like be in the spectrum center they're getting a dj they're probably gonna have like some cool lights going on and i think it would just be cool to get to experience the workout it seems like what they're trying to do is do sort of like a <laughs> like a concert workout like sort of that kind of vibe where it's like loud and like intense and just super interactive i don't know like where sydney's gonna be set up i, I don't know really know what to expect of it so i kind of wish i could just go and watch but and i think they were selling spectators tickets but it didn't really occur to me to even like do that and now 
I'm kind of wishing that I did because I feel like now there's like a whole entire vacation event that I just like don't get to be part of and I got to go obviously last night and today since I'm like one of the few locals in the group people are just like <laughs> expecting me to like make the plans because I just like know places to go and I know what's around so I suggested for tonight the Charlotte Beer Garden it's not like the same vibes as last night there's nothing quite like that in, in terms of like a really spacious outdoor area but I figured for convenience because it's kind of in uptown ish I think it's technically like in south and I think it's it's a nice it's got a nice outdoor area it's got a rooftop it's got like some fire like fire pits kind of thing and they have like a bajillion beers there and they have really good food so I suggested that and I think people are going there tonight I think and I'm not sure if we're gonna be feeling up to it or not and Ken has to make these sticky buns because his parents are coming over tomorrow we have had a jam packed like four days in a row like we have not been able to breathe for the last couple of days so i'm not sure if we're gonna go out tonight or not but i kind of want to because vacation <laughs> it's just been so much fun i don't want to miss out i don't want fomo the moment of truth on the sticky buns all right let's see it <laughs> you look so awkward so i'm gonna go like that i know but how can i do that it's hard so i gotta almost go like that Oh, success. Nice. Alright, I need help. Okay. Stand the legs up. <laughs> this is a little anticlimactic at this point. No. Wow. Whoa. Looking like a delicious snack. The sticky buns look good too. Hey. hey. <laughs> I also just realized I told y'all I would show you <laughs> dinner and I never did but we got a giant extra extra large Jets pizza like a huge one <laughs> so good and then this is just basically like cheesy bread with bacon and it was delicious this is some of our favorite pizza and I think that's gonna more or less wrap up the little vacation weekend vlogs which kind of makes me sad because I sort of really wish I was going to the workout tomorrow not necessarily to do it because I just don't think I could but I kind of wish I could just be part of that and just be part of the whole experience but definitely next vacation hopefully if I'm not pregnant then two or something I will be able to not only go but actually do the workout as well and hopefully it'll be in Charlotte again but I think they're thinking about like doing these kind of things kind of across the country like in different cities I don't know how easy that would be for them to coordinate because they needed a good amount of staff and I feel like it would be hard don't you think that'd be hard for them to coordinate what they did today like yeah. remotely yeah like in Chicago or like something random like that that would be hard because I feel like they'd have to bring a lot of their staff which would just be like a whole thing and then hiring like they had videographers kind of like filming behind the scenes and photographers and obviously like all the props and stuff but at the same time even though we live <laughs> right like in the same city as her it could be kind of cool to travel somewhere else to get to experience that just to Go to a different city so anyway i hope that y'all enjoyed kind of getting a little sneak peek into this really 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 cool special weekend for us and for me and for this guy i have him out <laughs> right now he's kind of all over the place he always is usually like by the end of the day but it was a really cool special weekend and i'm really glad ken got to be part of it he's such like a trooper and a really like he's a supporter he's really good at like supporting these little things it was really fun and really exciting and we like had so much fun and i'm actually curious i feel like a a lot of people either through Instagram or through YouTube work out with Sydney Cummings whether it's because like I know there's a good number of people that saw me like working out with her and they were like who is that and then kind of like found her and started working out with her from seeing me do it and I know some people just knew about her found out about her on their own so I'm curious if y'all maybe that's why you're watching this video or maybe <laughs> it's just a coincidence but I'm curious if y'all work out with Sydney Cummings on YouTube I'll link her channel if you're interested if you want to check her out she's amazing and she will whip your butt into shape can literally can't even do her workouts <laughs> even though he works out every day it's just like I don't know her workouts are definitely kind of need to adjust to them and get in a certain kind of shape for them but they're amazing so let me know if y'all work out with her and then also if y'all want to follow me on Instagram I always have a link down in the description box I posted a ton of photos there from this weekend I've like posted a lot on my stories I did a highlight actually for this whole weekend so if y'all want to see some kind of other footage that I didn't get my camera that's on my Instagram the pictures of meeting her on my Instagram some of the pictures like just of Ken and of me and stuff like that and like the little onesie those are on instagram definitely check that out if y'all want to see some more like behind the scenes kind of additional content from this weekend that's all there as well i don't think we're gonna go meet up with people i just don't think that we're feeling super up to it and like i said we have company coming tomorrow so i need to 
clean and cook and do all those things so i hope that y'all enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you would like to subscribe we'd love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time i will see y'all in our next video bye guys